Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer for March 31st, Tuesday after the fifth Sunday in Lent. Today we commemorate the life of John Donne, priest and poet, who died in 1631. I'm Bishop Guy Irwin, and I'm glad you're here to pray with me this evening. To participate fully, you will need a bulletin and access to the psalm of the day, Psalm 143, uh, from the ELW hymnal. Or you can download both the bulletin and the psalm from the link that's attached to this video or from the Synod website. If you use the hymnal, morning pra uh, evening prayer begins on page 309, but we really will be starting on 310. And uh, But the bulletin is the easiest thing of all. You might want to have Psalm 143 handy or marked because we come up to it pretty fast in the service. If you wish to stand and sit at the appropriate times, I will give you the instructions, but you may feel free to remain seated for the entire service. Let us calm our hearts and prepare for worship. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Turn us again, O God of our salvation, that the light of your face may shine on us. May your justice shine like the sun, and may the poor be lifted up. Joyous light of glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of, dark, of fire by night you led your people into freedom enlighten our darkness by the light of your christ may your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path for you are merciful and you love your whole creation and with all your creatures we give you glory through your son jesus christ in the unity of the holy spirit now and forever amen you may be seated for the psalmody. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. We continue with Psalm 143. I will begin with the first verse, and if you would join me on the second verse and all the even verses after that, I would be grateful. Lord, hear my prayer, and in your faithfulness heed my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For my enemy has sought my life and has crushed me to the ground making me live in dark places like those who are long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past. I ponder all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul gasps to you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Do not hide your face from me, or I shall be like those who go down to the pit. 
Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for I put my trust in you. Show me the road that I must walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your steadfast love, destroy my enemies and bring all my foes to naught. For surely I am your servant. Our first lesson this evening is from Ephesians chapter 2. You were dead through the trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath, like everyone else. But God who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. As is appropriate for today, our second reading is a sonnet by John Donne. Batter my heart, three-personed God, for you as yet but knock, breathe, shine, and seek to mend, that I may rise and stand, or throw me, and bend your force, your force to break, blow, burn, and make me new. I, like a usurped town, to another do, labor to admit you, but oh, to no end. Reason your viceroy in me, me should defend, but is captived, and proves weak or untrue. Yet dearly I love you, and would be loved fain, but am betrothed unto your enemy. Divorce me, untie or break that knot again, take me to you, imprison me, for I accept you and thrall me, never shall be free, nor ever chaste, except you ravish me. I invite you into a moment of silent reflection on the readings. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. I invite you to stand as you are able for the Gospel Canticle and the prayers that follow. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Today, in this commemoration of John Donne, we remember a, a poet of extraordinary power with words, 
The sonnets we've heard in our daily prayer today are both ones in which human love and the divine love for humankind have been expressed in vivid, vivid language. Dunn was well known in his own time, but especially as a preacher. Ordained late in life in, in 1615, he was uh, appointed to be the Dean of St. Paul's after only seven years as a clergyman. He wrote a poem called Good Friday 1613, writing westward, in which he speaks of Jesus' death on the cross. Who sees God's face, that is, self-life, must die. What a death were it then to see God die. Let us pray. Almighty God, beautiful in majesty, majestic in holiness, you have shown us the splendor of creation in the work of your servant John Donne. Teach us to drive from the world all chaos and disorder, that our lives may behold your glory, and that at last everyone may know the inexhaustible richness of your new creation in Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God, our strength, grant us your spirit of love and self-discipline so that we may come together, working to help one another and to contain the virus, especially through our self-isolation. Make us diligent, attentive, and proactive in protecting our neighbors and ourselves. Give us patience and endurance and hope for this long and uncertain journey. And all for Jesus' sake. Amen. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected us today. We ask you to forgive all our sins where we have done wrong and graciously to protect us tonight. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. I thank you for joining me for evening prayer tonight, and I wish you a restful sleep. <laughs>